Welcome back guys to episode 3 of Space Engineers 101. Today we're going to be talking about oxygen and pressurization of space stations and ships. We're going to talk about how we can get oxygen in your station and in your ship and keep it there and allow you to walk around your base without having to worry about putting on your helmet guys. You want to be able to walk around without your helmet on like this all around your base and if you're in space like i am right now and you just don't have a pressurized room where you can just shove oxygen into it into you're gonna be out of luck guys so i'm gonna show you a nice example of what i build here today guys so right here we have a nuclear reactor small and a h2 o2 generator connected to a oxygen tank and then a air vent and then on the other side of this guys we have a other air vent on here that is set to depressurize now what that does is that it takes all the air from this room sucks it in there and fills up the tanks but what this also does is that when we come in here and close it oxygen oxygen is going to be thrown in here and filled up with air especially since everything in here is sealed there's no holes there's no patches there's no anything to prevent circulation of airflow guys so when you're trying to make your system you want to make sure that there's no holes no flaws no dents no anything around the whole space you're trying to pe pressurize because if you even have a single block missing you are not going to be able to pressurize even if you have something on the other side for example if i were to make a hole over here guys and i have a reactor on this side and i decide to put a tube let's say the tube is facing the opposite way it's like uh let's just say the tube's there guys it's not gonna fill up the room it's still a hole guys you want to make sure that everything's sealed up you just don't also don't want to make you just don't want anything to you just want that space to be filled at the end of the day guys so you want to make sure that's closed nice tidy uniform as soon as it is your vents are gonna bring out the air so you want to make sure everything's nice and uniform now let me also talk about another important factor guys now you see how this is all connected all as one unit you don't want it to be connected to all your other conveyor tubes and all your other systems guys so we'll come back to this section in a bit but over here i have a whole conveyor system set up for my nuclear reactor h2 generator large cargo container connected all connected to a small cargo container that i can access from the inside of this station now over here i also have a same system i showed you before but outside guys so as i mentioned before there's an air vent inside connected to a o2 h2 generator connected to an oxygen tank and then a air vent that is set to oh if we click over here it was set to depressurized on while the one inside is depressurized off and also the nuclear reactor to power up the whole system now i figured having this giant thing is sticking out from the side of your whole station isn't the best looking thing guys so i decided to test out some things and see if i can make a whole oxygen depressurized system all with conveyor tubes and junctions so it doesn't look all grody like this well guys i was able to fabricate this well even though it looks a little bit weird and wonky i can literally i could have placed this right under here and had conveyor tubes run up over here but for the purpose of this video i just decided to make it a little bit simplastic and make sure that my idea kind of worked and my idea was to have the four air vents inside and then have the conveyor tubes and junctions connect over here over to the h h2o2 generator then the oxygen tank and then i have a conveyor junction that has the four air vents that are outside that is also connected to a nuclear reactor and the thing is that it, that it works it simply works the same way as the other ones that i've shown you now 
What's pretty cool about that, guys, is that you don't have to worry about having some ugly thing stick out on the side of your station. You can have it nice and neat somewhere hidden where people won't be able to find it, which I found really cool. So I'll show you right now when we walk in that the area is just blown in, which is pretty cool. Now, what I've had set up over here as well is that I make sure that there's one room. So, for example, when we walk in, we have this one room and I open up this one door so that that whole room in there doesn't get depressurized. The oxygen in there stays in there while I move in here. Ox uh, some oxygen does go off since the sense the, for the simple fact that I did open that door and then close it up and some oxygen did get in there. But you also want to have that one room where there isn't any oxygen. Right here, this one is set to deep uh, to pressurize this room and this one as well. So that when I walk in to these rooms, like for example, this one is depressurized as soon as I open this side and open the door out there. But if I were to have the same system I have in here, where I walk in here, it's depressurized walk in here close it all up open this door and i'm good it's all pressurized air it does lose some air because obviously i'm opening this door that wasn't pressurized and it does have to send in air to compensate for that but if you're so worried about not having enough air every time you open and close open and close you can also set up other generators like i have set up over here guys which does help and compensate now, do keep in mind, guys, that you will need to have uranium to power this whole system. And do keep in mind that uh, I have not tried this with a solar system, and I don't think it's very efficient. So the best way to power this whole system will be to use uranium, guys. And that pretty much sums up today's video, guys. Just, keep, uh, just remember the key themes I have mentioned before. You want to make sure this whole system is separate from your other system it will not work when it's connected to another conveyor system so you want this to be its own standalone thing which kind of sucks because you will have to go in and manually manually put in that uranium into the reactors but also keep in mind that it's very 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 efficient guys and remember you don't have to have this whole thing sticking out of the side of your base if i wanted to i could have put this inside that meteorite and had conveyor tubes run out of that meteorite and connect it into my station so it's really really cool and efficient and you don't have to worry about having that ugly little whatever this thing is on the side of your ship guys so just keep that in mind also keep in mind that you want to have a room that isn't pressurized so that you don't lose all your oxygen when you're walking in and out of your base you want to be able to make sure that there's a lot of oxygen saved in the room every time you go in because you don't want to walk in and find out you don't have enough oxygen in there to breathe and lose health so those are two things guys i hope you guys